Hello and welcome. You are watching Thomas's Tower Reading with myself, Thomas Janak. This is your August 2023 general reading, which means it may not resonate with all of you. Take what is for you, leave the rest for someone else. For the sign of Aries, please like, subscribe and share because it really does help the channel out. Really, really important. Anyway, what we will do here is we will divide the reading into sections. We will look at the overall energy for the month of August 2023 for the sign of Aries, which is you. Before we then go into your emotional core, emotional core is whether or not there's love coming in or healing that needs to happen, that sort of stuff. And then lastly, we will look at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of August 2023 for the sign of Aries. Now, before we do any of this, you hear the whole table going weird. That's because my cat is here. She's hoping for food and she touches the table. And because the table looked awesome but was quite cheap, it is not very stable. <laughs> in any case, let me introduce you to uh, this month's guest reader. This is Claire. Hello. She runs the Knotted Tree Holistic Therapy Center in Telford. And I will actually do a workshop there in November. So, and I will put her um, contact information in the description box. Right? So again, should the camera be shaking, it's just a cat. Here we go. So, with no further ado, let's look at the overall energy for the sign of Aries for the month of August 2023. Okay, so yeah, we have... Excuse me. There you <laughs> Thank you. So we have um, the overall energy for um, the Aries is have confidence in your magic. There's going to be a lot coming through for you. So um, sit with it, sit within yourself and see what's coming through. Um, but trust in it, believe in what's going on within you. Um, and then uh, a bit of a repairing of the mind, body and spirit is also needed. So um, a bit of self-care, detoxing is what's required. So as you can bring in that belief, so as you can connect to your magic that's within you. Thank you so much. And remember, you are Aries. You are the first sign by default. You have all the strengths you need because there's nobody that comes in front of you. So Aries, Aries is, I don't know if this is a word, Aries is problem, Aries problem, your problem, <laughs> can be that sometimes you don't know how to reach out or you don't reach out. And there's no shame in reaching out. So if you have to reach out, by all means do that. But for the most part, um, you are really, really strong. And always honor that and understand that. Now we're looking at your emotional core, see how you're feeling and whether or not there's healing coming in or love coming in or healing that needs to happen. Let's have a look what we got for um, August 2023 for your very sign. And it's interesting because I work with Spirit Animal Guides here. I'm drawn to the animal, Spirit Animal Guide deck. And you have the raven and the panther. Can't pronounce the H. Panther. When I lived with the Irish, it was panther. Much easier. Anyway, you have the raven. Now the raven is the, the depiction of the raven is magic we had magic before so therefore when the word shows up numerous times twice that thus far um understand that the way to look at anything this month is from a much higher perspective right allow to see the magic in in the ordinary if that makes sense there's magic everywhere as you know your job is to to really pay attention to it and internalize that magic, right? So that is, uh, again, the message, uh, the, 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 the message of the raven is for you to understand that in order for you to... So I'm not getting that you have to do a lot of healing. What I'm getting is that in order for you to move on, either in a relationship you're in or manifesting relationship, you have to first understand that you haven't released all there is to release welcome to the club the idea is that we're here on this rock <laughs> for twenty six thousand years one soul different bodies to learn everything <laughs> so it, you don't have to rush anything but understand that you know you carry stuff with you that will not serve you in the relationship you're in or in the future one and when you see things from a higher point of view you then also begin to understand that you deserve better so Look at the relationship you're in, should you be in one and say like, okay, is this the relationship where I can be myself, where I can be my higher self and where I am being appreciated for all that I am, right? And should you not be in a relationship, but you are manifesting one, <coughs> then make sure you manifest someone who does all this. Now, here's another important thing. If you are, should you be one of those people that says like, 
I'm done with that crap, they're all a bunch of bricks, whatever you are thinking. We only really learn in intimate relationships. It is really not advisable, if that makes sense, from a learning point of view, to not be with someone. Easier said than done, maybe 56, but you understand the concept. So, so don't fight it, because your outgoing energy, when it comes to your emotion core, is the panther. Now the couple around it. <laughs> and the panther, by default, is a leopard, which means the leopard has unique thoughts, unique stripes. So what is lost to a certain extent, because you're hiding inside the panther, is that uniqueness. So you have been knocked a little. Now, it is easier to understand it when you actually understand who hasn't. So this is not about being the victim, which is also not what Aries does. You're not, you're not a victim here. But because you're still hiding to a certain extent, now is the time, which is obviously your message for the month of August 2023, for your very son of Aries, now is the time to allow yourself to be seen again, right? And that's important. What also then means that what you should really do is to take compliments. Really, really important because the universe can't send you anyone who would like to give you compliments and highlight what is really beautiful about you if you dismiss it. So quite a bit of work, if that makes sense, for Aries. But you got this because you're awesome. In any case, that was the... Um, Emotional core. So lastly, we will now look at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of August 2023. And opportunities, for the most part, are about what sustains you financially. But this is the universe. Money is not a spiritual currency. They might not talk about that at all. What do I know? I only work here. <laughs> Claire, what have you got? <laughs> okay, so what's come out for opportunities is um, trusting what is coming in front of you. Trusting what's coming in mind. Um, trust in the unknown. Uh, be prepared to step out of your comfort zones um, and uh, dig deep, deep, go in deep to find what your passions are, you know, what is it that you want to do, you know, and look at uh, what you're doing now, is it somebody else's expectations, is it somebody else's, you're doing it under somebody else's judgments, or is it your own? Start digging deep in that way, ask yourself those questions, you know, and that way your true passions will start to flow through. As that's flowing through, the opportunities, the doors will start opening for you. Um, so dig deep, go in there and find what's truly you. Okay, thank you so much. And remember Aries, we are in the energy of Leo until we go to Virgo at the end of uh, August, which means Leo is a fellow fire sign. Aries is a fire sign. Your element of fire at this point in time just by time frame um, is way more powerful. So you already are also supported by the energy of the hot planets, which is Mars, right, or Mercury. So you are already supported by your own element that guides you anyway. But because we're in July, where the fire signs, where the fire sign also lives, even though it's not yours, it is Leo, you will be already and automatically support it because the fire sign is the most prominent element at this point in time and you happen to be a fire sign. So remember there's a lot of strengths around you that you can tap in. You had the word magic numerous times. Allow yourself to see things from a magical point of view. Claire, thank you so much. Thank you. That's all we got for this month. Remember, we have two super moons in August 2023. So there is a a video that is sort of time stamped, you know, you can look at them individually if you want, um, on this channel about the, the super moons. Uh, make sure you watch this uh, because obviously having two super moons means that, that um, you will, all of us, will be quite affected emotionally by default. So that's why I recorded a video for you, uh, for your viewing pleasure, as they say. <laughs> and that's all I got. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash William Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash William Thomas. I love my coffee. Please, please, please buy me a coffee. All right. See you next month. Bye-bye. <laughs>